Alright, we got a, a Belkin Mini Display Port to HDMI adapter here. This is so I can um, connect my MacBook Pro to my flat screen TV. And just came in today. It's going to be the unboxing of it. It should look pretty cool on my TV. I've got a, a 55 inch flat screen. Gonna look sweet. Oh, there we go. See, you can see where it says mini display port to, to HDMI adapter. That's how it comes from Apple. I believe it was. I think I paid twenty nine ninety nine for it. Come out the box. Put that in there. Nice there we go. Oops. There's where the HDMI cable goes. And of course, that plugs into your MacBook Pro. And I'm gonna. Stop the video here and hook it up and see how it looks. Okay, now we're going to hook this up to make MacBook Pro use the big screen TV so we'll have a nice big view. I've got a really short HDMI cable, so this isn't the best setup. I got one ordered, but it hadn't came in yet. A long cable. Um, all right, we put, we take the HDMI cable and hook it into here. See, it's hooked in there. Okay, on the MacBook Pro, right here. If you can see, let's see, right here. That's where we're going to hook the little connectors. Right there in that port. Of course, I'm going to have to turn it this way where you can't see because of my pitiful setup all right we have it hooked in now so we're gonna kind of try to back up here there's a few settings you're gonna have to adjust in order for your MacBook Pro to display onto your LCD flat screen I'm gonna turn it on See, as you notice, the, the laptop's lit up, but the TV's not. You'll see here in a second that you will get the desktop on your background on the TV, but it won't show any of your icons or your dock. I'm going to show you how to fix that. And your sound, too, as well, will come through the HDMI cable. I don't think it did on older models, but this connector is made towards the sound to go through. Okay, see? This is the big TV, 55 inch. As you can tell, there is no icons or nothing. But yet, when you walk over here and look at the laptop, you see all the icons, Doc. Well, what you do is you go into your settings the first thing we're going to change is the display settings Let's see if I can get the camera closer where you can see what I'm doing oh boy I don't want this set up okay you're going to click on display And then you can see this will pop up on the flat screen where you get that little menu. 
Well, you still can't do anything on the flat screen yet until we make this adjustment. Okay, we're going to click on arrangement right there and you're gonna click right here where it says mirror display and that in return gives you this on your flat screen or your TV sorry for the banging of the camera and everything Okay, now we need to go over here and do the sound, where the sound will go through the HDMI cable instead of a line-out cable, which you had to use in older models. Okay, we can close this window out. Well, actually, I should have hit the back button, but anyway. You go back to sound go to sound and you're gonna see where it says output right there that's where you want to be highlighted at right there and then you click down here to the HDMI cable so the sound will go through that cable and then you're all set let's see I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit And I'm going to do a few things. Let's see here. How about Twitter? Now if you want an idea how big this Twitter feed is, it's pretty big on the flat screen. Okay. Close that out. And let's see what's something else. Okay. Solitaire. That's pretty big. Looks pretty cool on the big screen. Um, I don't know if you can hear me with this camera, but uh, got my. I was just playing around with the dashboard and. Put some crazy stuff on it. But as you can see, it works great. So I'm going to start doing some video editing on this big screen. And it's going to be pretty cool. Speaking of video editing, let's see what Final Cut Pro looks like on here. It's taking a little longer to load this time. I'm not sure what it's doing. Profiling for RT Extreme is what it says. So. There we go. Well, that's pretty big for video editing. As you can see, it's going to be pretty, pretty easy. Anyway, that's it. Leave a comment like it please please subscribe i'm trying to trying to do more and more videos and trying to get better at it so your comments would be great to help me and tell me what you want to see